Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the application we have created in the last few months or the last few weeks. So this is what we have built. Like this is a starter template for a starter uh, template for Laravel 5.7 and Vue.js. So in this video, I will show you how you can use this one. Before I start uh, doing everything from scratch, of course, the installation is here easy. I want to tell you something that I will wrap up this series and i will start the new one and i will introduce that in the next video so don't forget to watch that one uh, so yeah of course you should watch that and you can give suggestion on the future tutorial that is important to watch the next video so let's start doing this one to wrap up everything when you read the installation here of course you will face some problem it is not only this one you have level passport and stuff like that so i will start from the beginning you just copy this one. I will come to my apps directory. Here I will create a folder called new app. And inside this one, I will open the bash come in here. So what you can do is, if you have get installed, just get clone, copy this come in here, and I will paste it, then press enter. Now it is going to clone the projects from the GitHub and it will download it. It will take a few seconds to install. So yeah, it is done. And if I come to the directory, here is our application. If you look at this application, let I start, it is inside the new app. What we have, why it, it took two, like a few seconds to install, because we do not have the vendor directory here, which is our composer file and stuff like that. So I will cd to let start. Okay, let start. You know, we have the cd let start and we can go there. Here is our application, so I will clean it. And now what you can do is, the first thing you can do is just run the composer install. I am in the directory and it is going to read the composer.json and it is going to install all the dependency you have for the PHP. So it will take a few seconds to install. After this one, what you can do is you can open another comment bash here. You can install the, your, uh, uh, let's say the JavaScript dependencies. For that, you can in, you can run the npm install, which is going to read the package.json and install all the libraries you require for your application. So of course, it is also going to take a little while. What I'm going to do is I am going to open another command. So of course, and we will just write code current directory we will open the application in the visual studio code so that we can start editing beside that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a database so i will go to localhost php my admin and i am going to create a database for our application so the password we do not have login as root and let's see the progress this one is for php this one have not started. I think Windows user, you know that it is a little uh, slow when it comes to NPM and stuff like that. So I will go to database here and you can name your database anything you want. I will just give it a div, let's say new div and this is fine. We will come to our application. You know we have a env that example here. What you can do is you can save the same file here and sometimes you cannot save it uh, using like the plan. If you go to the directory, you cannot save it as env. So what you can do, you can come and the Visual Studio code will help you do that one. So from here, what you can select is, it should take all the file, no extension. What you can do is .env and it should save the file here. Yeah, here is the .env file. And for the app name, you can write here for database and here is the database new div. The username is root for the database and we do not have any password. So we will save this one. Once you save it, you can come to your command line here. What you can do is you can run PHP artisan key generate. It is going to generate a random key for your application. As you can see, here is the app key here but it is going to give you an error artisan line 18 it, this is of course this is because we have not installed all our dependencies in the vendor directory that's why it is going to give you an error 
so you should wait for the PHP to install all the de dependencies. So here we are, it is installed, everything is done. So what I can do is, I can come here. Now what we can do is, again, we can come to our terminal. This one of course, install all our J JavaScript dependency. For this one again, we will run the key generate to generate our key. This time, as you can see, it just generated a key and it will place it in the app key here. Now we can start developing our application. So first of all, what we can do is, we can say php artisan serve and it is going to serve a server for us so i will come to one to seven and the next thing you can do is you can migrate your database so if you come here and say php artisan migrate of course i'm going to go through all the errors if you see no we don't see any error if you look at the tables we have a lot of tables what are these tables some of them are from Laravel Passport, so I will check out here now. If you go to register, you will register a brand new user here, admin at me.com. For the password, we will use some random password. And we can register. So I will show you some of the problems you might face. First of all, it is not going to show a complete uh, dashboard because you are just a user. So what you can do is, you can go to localhost in your admin and you can change the user type directly from the admin. There is no other way that you the, that you could be able to change your user type. If you go to the database, going to the new dev, here we have the user and here is the user type as user. I will change it to admin. So now you are an admin. So if I come and refresh the page this time, we should see more options and of course this is for the home page. We said that it is not going to do anything, but for dashboard, still we don't see anything. Looking for nothing. Developer, it is fine. Going to profile, everything is fine except we don't see our name here. Why? Here is the admin, everything is fine. So if I open the inspect element here. We have three errors. Going to the network, you might see that those errors will be related to here. So if I open the console again, it is going to send an HTTP request to the server, but it failed and it gave you the 500 error. This is because we installed Laravel Passport, but we did not uh, do. We did not run one of the comments so that it should configure everything we want. That's why if you change your profile here. If I come to profile and let's pick a picture, let's say this YouTube PNG and if you update, it's going to fail. It's going to display a red line here. It is going to fail. That's why you have to go to Laravel documentation, go into Laravel passport and you need to run one command and that is going to do everything for you. So if you come to documentation and search for Laravel passport okay and yeah here it is uh, okay they said that you have to install this stuff and then you can run this command this is what you need so coming to your application just paste the command install the laravel passport and it will install all the necessary configuration you need for your laravel passport it will set everything client id everything you need so this time if i hard reload my application i should not get any error related to what you might have faced one error yeah profile that png this is not important for now because this is a get request for the profile but you see your name here and if i change my profile currently we do not have any so let's change it to the youtube icon again this work here and if i save it yes successfully it save everything we have and this is it and now you can start customizing the application for yourself any uh, way you want just going to the documentation or just go and watch the video series in youtube and find out what we have built and what you can do with this one so i hope it has been informative for you and i hope this series uh, help people learn a little bit about vue.js and laravel so don't forget to watch the next video where i have a little surprise for you this is up to you which 
series I'm going to start new. So that is what I'm going to cover in the next video. So see you in the next video. Thanks.